Welcome, mortgage fans. This is Richard Kossoff with Guaranteed Rate. In episode one, we learned about Guaranteed Rate, a national lender, and a little bit about myself. In episode two, we learned about the pre-approval process. Hopefully, you're a little more comfortable in what banks are looking for to get pre-approved. And in this episode, it's all about FHA loans. Why are FHA loans so great? Should you be looking at them? Let's do it this way. For my Clint Eastwood fans, let's do the good, the bad, and the ugly. Here we go. The good about FHA. For starters, they'll do a loan amount all the way up to $970,800. Plenty of money for your first place. Okay. In terms of down payment, they only require 3.5% down. That's a big deal. Not a lot of money to get into your first place. Um, and if you can't uh, scrimp together the 3.5%, FHA will actually allow a 100% gift. So that's really nice. A parent, significant other, or a close relative can give you the down payment and uh, to get you into your first home. The big deal about FHA is they are more flexible on credit. So where Fannie and Freddie require a 620 minimum credit score, some banks require a 640 minimum credit score, FHA says that the loans can be made with a FICO score as low as 580. Certainly more credit. If you have a couple blemishes on your credit, FHA is more understanding. You're willing to make that loan. Um, more importantly, you'll find that the rates for FHA are actually better than the Fannie Freddie 30 year fixed rate mortgages. I'm kind of surprised to be honest with you. I thought it was a lot closer uh, as of today, which is October 26, 2022. The rate I show for Fannie Freddie 30 year fixed is 7.5% for one point. FHA, 6.625% and zero points. What does that mean? Well, in terms of the points, Fannie and Freddie wants one point or 1% of the loan amount. If your loan is 400,000 times 1%, that is $4,000. That's a $4,000 fee you pay to buy that 7.5% rate. FHA, zero points. You're not paying a premium there. And the rate, six and five eighths versus seven and a half, that's almost a one point spread. It's actually seven eighths. But think about it one point on a $400,000 loan in interest means that, again, $400,000, 1% is $4,000 in interest that you pay less with the FHA loan. So, of course, you have to look at FHA loans. It's, 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 that's why they're so popular. The rate is superior, even though they do have a couple of negatives we'll talk about in a second. Um, FHA will also allow for a non-occupant borrower to help you co-sign. So if you don't quite make enough money, mom, dad, relative can co-sign with you, not have to occupy the place with you. That's good. And you qualify for your first home loan. All right. That was the good. Let's talk about the bad. It's not terrible, but but FHA requires two mortgage insurance premiums that we need to talk about. The first one is typical. It's very like the one you'll pay with a Fannie Freddie 30 year fixed. Um, mortgage insurance, as we said, that's a premium you pay the bank to protect the bank if you go belly up, if you stop making your payments, which you would never do. Okay. If you take $400,000 loan for our conversation, um, 400,000, the premium for FHA is 0.8%. So 400,000 times 0.8, 42, it's $3,200 a year divided by 12 is $266 a month. So in addition to your mortgage payment of principal and interest, out of that payment will be another $266 a month on a $400,000 loan. And the bad is that you can't get rid of it. That mortgage insurance is for the life of the loan. Whereas with Fannie and Freddie, once you can show 20, 22% equity in the property because you lived there for so long or because the property went up in value, you can get rid of that premium uh, with Fannie and Freddie with a conventional loan. But with this FHA uh, government loan, no, can't get rid of it. The other piece is FHA charges 1.75% of your loan amount as an upfront premium. They call it an upfront mortgage insurance. So if you take $400,000 times 1.75%, 
that's seven thousand dollars they're going to tack onto your loan. So you thought you were financing four hundred thousand? No, now you're paying four hundred seven thousand. That's the bad. The ugly, well, it's not really ugly if you're buying a single family home. There's no issue. The issue becomes if you're buying a condo. That's where it can be ugly. If you're approved for a loan, you know you're good for $400,000, and you go to your agent and say, hey, show me condominiums for $400,000 loan amount or approximately $400,000 sales price. Okay, the agent needs to know that you're, you're approved for an FHA loan because the building needs to be FHA approved to do a loan in there. That means FHA already checked out that complex. They have a big list. They've already checked out the bylaws, the CCNRs, the budget, the finances, blah, 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 blah. They've already said, okay, we'll lend in this building. Well, what if they didn't do that? Then you have to apply for a spot approval. Dun, dun. That's the ugly. Spot approvals mean FHA will now collect all that data. They'll actually have you collect all that data or your listing agent, submit it to the underwriter, a, a delegated underwriter for FHA, and they have to look at the budget, the bylaws, the finances, the CCNR. They have to look at all that and say, okay, we'll make a loan in this building for you for this unit. I should tell you that 50% of those deals fail. 50% do not go through. And that's why it's so challenging. And that's why it's ugly. Because first of all, a lot of sellers do not want to tie up their property while trying to be approved for this FHA spot approval that may indeed fail. They took the property off the market and now they have to start all over again. So that's why it can be quite ugly. So there you have it. The good, the bad, the ugly. The good, low down payment, 100% gift, lower interest rate. Uh, it's a good loan. The bad, two, two mortgage insurance premiums, um, and you can't get rid of one of them. And the ugly, if you have to find a, a complex that is not already spot approved, you're in for quite a challenge. That's it for me. This is Richard Kossoff for Guaranteed Rate. Next time I hope to talk about VA mortgages. Hey, click on subscribe. I was able to figure out how to put the subscribe button in. Where is it? It's over, it's over there. It's over there. Okay. If you have any questions, leave a comment or you can reach me at richard.kossoff at rate.com. You have a good day. Thank you.